To ensure we protect the RV against leaking, we want to inspect the roof at least once or twice a year. The only tools we'll need for this job are a couple of paper towels, some mineral spirits, and a caulk gun loaded with some Dicor self-leveling lap sealant. Anywhere that anything comes through the roof is a potential leak point, and the Dicor needs to be inspected and touched up as needed. Whether it's the base of your TV antenna, a radio antenna, solar panel mounting brackets, or roof vents, we want to make sure that the Dicor is watertight. If you saw our video from last fall, you'll know that the plumbing vents and the die core are brand new. And sure enough, they're in perfect condition, showing no signs of cracking or aging. Our satellite dish has been on the roof for seven years. And we want to inspect carefully each point where a bolt goes down into the roof to make sure that the die core has no cracks. You'll notice we've removed our vent fan covers so we can get a good look at all of the die core. And sure enough, here's exactly the kind of thing we're looking for that could cause a leak. These tiny hairline cracks in the surface of the die core. Put some mineral spirits onto a paper towel and then clean the surface of the die core to make sure that the new die core will stick. Now you can clearly see the hairline cracking in the old die core. You can also see where we've patched the die core in the past several years. We have a fiberglass roof. If you have an EPDM or a rubber roof, be sure to take care putting mineral spirits on it. Use it sparingly and don't soak the roof. Allow the mineral spirits to dry for a short time. Then take your caulk gun and apply a layer of Dicor directly to the area where you can see cracking. Remember, this is self-leveling sealant and it will flow out to a smooth surface just sitting for a little while. Inspect the entire roof and clean any Dicor cracks with mineral spirits, then apply a fresh coat of Dicor. One spot on most RV roofs that doesn't use Dicor is around the skylight. Our skylight requires a caulk called Surebond SB140. Check the manufacturer's instructions for compatible waterproof adhesives. Another way that manufacturers waterproof RVs is through the use of Eternabond tape, which typically connects the front cap and rear cap of the motorhome to the main roof section. Make sure to check the condition of the die core along the edges of the tape. Over the years, a well-maintained RV will have die core that looks like this. Kind of spotty from patchwork, but no leaks inside the RV. This kind of proactive attention to detail will ensure that your RV doesn't develop a leak.